And the problem is this. Ron is six feet tall. His shadow is 20 feet. How tall is the tree next to him if it has a shadow of 90 feet? So Ron is six feet tall. So we probably want to draw a little stick figure of Ron and his height and his shadow. And then, of course, we have a tree and the tree shadow. So we can kind of like put this in one little uh, picture. And let's go ahead and just take a look at the problem this way. All right. So here is Ron's. Ron is six feet tall. And here's Ron's shadow. So this is a little bit more, you know, involved in terms of a sketch. You don't even have to have it to be this uh, nice and neat. Of course, I'm using colors, which is pretty nice. But here's a 20-foot shadow for Ron. And then here is our tree. We want to know the height of a tree, of this uh, particular tree that's next to Ron. And the shadow of the tree is 90 feet. So you want to just, like, you know, sketch out and model uh, the scenario, then really make sure that your model is, in fact, what's going on in the problem. Okay, so we're told, hey, Ron is six feet tall. His shadow is 20 feet. Uh, how tall is this tree? Okay, we're looking for X, right? X is uh, when you're uh, solving a problem and you don't know the value, you use a variable to represent that unknown. Okay, but we do know that the shadow of the tree is 90 feet. Now, one thing here it's going to come into play. It's a little small uh, detail, but it's a very, a very important detail is that we're kind of assuming that our tree isn't kind of like this, like a real life tree. It's not like on some sort of angle. It is a right angle. And we're kind of assuming that Ron is has nice posture, is standing up perfectly perpendicular to the ground, okay? Because uh, what we're going to do here, or the this type of problem, is what we would call a ratio and proportion problem, or a similar triangle problem, which requires proportions to solve. But uh, let's go to take a look at how we can actually distill down this situation this way, okay? So what we have really is two triangles, all right? So here is Ron, okay, this would be Ron's height, and then this is Ron's shadow, and then this is the tree's height and the tree's shadow, but here's the thing, the, you know, if you look at the ground, and here is Ron, and here is the tree, if the sun is over here, the, the sun is going to be casting um, a shadow that is in proportion to the height of whatever object is in front of it, so, i.e., the proportion of Ron and his shadow will be the same as the tree to its shadow, okay? So that's the main idea here is that we're dealing with uh, two triangles, okay? We can kind of distill this problem down to two uh, triangles that are in proportion. And in uh, geometry, we'd call these similar triangles. And it's this symbol right here, uh, this little squiggly line, right? That's being similar. And basically, the way you can think of a similar triangle is a, I like to kind of think of it as a zoom in or out situation. So if I have this triangle and I zoom out, okay, I have a larger version of it. Or if I have this larger version and I kind of zoom in, I have this smaller version. But basically, here's the deal with similar triangles. Uh, and basically, this is the deal is the, all the angles will be the same, okay? So all the angles of the triangle are the same, but basically the, the actual lengths will be different, okay? If the lengths are, if the lengths and angles are exactly the same, i.e. you have an exact copy, you have what we call a congruent triangle. That's different, okay? We don't have a current, uh, a congruent triangle situation here. We have a similar triangle, okay? So just think of, oh, a zoom in and zoom out. And we have... Basically, these theorems that, that state that, hey, if you have two similar triangles, the uh, respective lengths are in proportion, okay? That's really, really important here. So meaning that this side is proportional to this side. If we, if we compare this side and this side of this triangle, it's going to be uh, at the same proportion as this side and this side, okay? These sides right here, these respective setups or these comparison of these sides, okay, this height to this shadow, to this height to this shadow will be equal, okay? So we're setting up a proportion here, and that's how you solve similar triangle problems. So let's go ahead and actually do this right now.
Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem and don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. So here it goes. So some of you probably already just did this way, but we're setting up this similar triangle situation. So Ron's um, height to his shadow is equal to the uh, tree's height to its shadow, okay? Or six is to 20, all right? Six, uh, six over 20 is equal to X over 90, all right? So this is a proportion, again, these res uh, comparing these respective sides are um, equal, okay, i.e. they are a proportion. All right, so now that you understand that, and hopefully you understand that without too many uh, difficulties, so here, to solve any proportion, we can use the cross product. Again, I like to always do this. A proportion is simply two equal fractions. Let's think of another fraction equal to one half. How about three over six? So remember, the cross product is always true when you um, have a proportion. So one times six is what? One times six is equal to what? Two times three, we'll write that there. So one times six is six. Six is equal to two times three, which of course is six, that is true. Okay, so here we can do the same thing. So we have x times 20 is what? 20x, six times 90, and we'll just write that there. So 20x is equal to six times 90, which is 540. To solve for x, I'm simply gonna divide both sides of the equation by 20, and you get x is equal to 27, but uh, what does that represent, uh, right? So x is equal to 27. Well, remember, this was the height of the tree. So the tree is 27 feet tall. Let's go and wrap it up with this. If you are needing additional help with ratio, proportions, similar triangles, etc., I have a ton of uh, stuff in my math help program. A couple uh, suggestions would be like my algebra course or my geometry course, all depending on what you're studying. I do have many more videos on my YouTube channel in terms of just general uh, word problems as well. But the only way you're going to get better at uh, solving math word problems or algebra word problems is by practicing, okay? That's the only way you're going to get better. Uh, of course, you're going to have to learn the skills you know, that are going to be required to do the problems. But if you don't do a lot of problems, you're not going to get better at math. So hopefully you like my teaching style. If that is the case, please take advantage of all these uh, videos that I make because I truly am trying to help you be successful in mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.